Yeah, what's up everybody? It's your boy Showtime Doctor. So we got a a curveball here. They went with the patch notes a day early. I think it's because they know they don't have everything, so they just decided to apply something and just hope that the extra day will make things die down for whenever the next thing hits. But Oh boy, here we go. Alright, so here's what they're doing on the first patch. You see how Nicholas has made it there? In the patch notice, no more cute girl. More on that later. So let's see. So there's your patch period, blah blah blah. Essentially, the patch is apparently already there. It's whatever, it's one of those lazy things that they already did. So here's your patch details. SSR heroes summon right up. New hero special summon bonus event. SSR heroes, etc. Tier 5 summon reward. Oh, okay, so tier 4 summon reward is a random SSR hero ticket. And then this one's a new 4 star, so I don't know if that means like new heroes within a month or something. Who knows? And then we got new event achievements. We'll go into that. And some localization fixes, guys. Let's see uh, what the feedback is right here. Got two big comments. Anjo Tabios, dead game, GG, P2W costumes. And then we got some dude whose name I can't read because I am Gaijin. Your badge dungeon drop rates were like 10 times what they should be done, so 100 runs have gotten only 1 to 3 star, lol. How about adding some actual new content? <laughs> so, here we go. Here's your events. Badge dungeon, double drop. I'm not even going to log in for that. Well, I'll log in, but I'm not going to run that. I got like one costume, and it's on Mina, and she's like level 56 or something, so... You can earn double the amount of badges. Whoa, 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 whoa. More one and two star badges, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Let's see what the feedback here is. Unnecessary. Make this unlimited. It may be worth it. No one is cheering about this. I don't have a costume. <laughs> and I'd rather summon... <clears throat> so badges are unnecessary since you can only be equipped with them. But thanks for trying to think about us, you know, showing and don't like don't pull that positivity stuff at the end, baby. Just kidding. Mikey, might as well run even if I don't have a hero costume. Can't tell what will happen in the future. Better get whatever I can get. Oh boy, Mikey, I hope you don't have that same philosophy for dating, bro. I don't even have a single costume, not useful at all for me, Chris E. Lowe says. I was hoping for two-time Rune Dungeon instead. Yeah, that is an issue now, because, like, since there's a new drop, the badges, they're going to start cycling that in, which means every time it gets cycled in, that's a weak delay for all the other stuff that we might want, like Rune Dungeon, Evo Dungeon, Gold Mon, even XP Mon. So, that sucks. Because most people, if they have enough money to buy costumes, like the good costumes, then they're buying the the badges for it as well. So. But hey, well, so there's your first event. And then we got daily clear the costume badge dungeon one time, so you're going to have to go run it no matter what it seems. Attempt rune transformation three times. So on that, guys, just get yourself, lock yourself like a one-star rune. And then just unlock it, transform it three times, lock it again. That's all you need to do for that. Unless you got like some six star super special rune that you want to trans transmogrify. <clears throat> and then we got clear a single admin dungeon three times. So in my case, I'm going to be logging in and just speed running the one star. Cause unless there's some, I don't know what the rotation for the dungeon is next week. If Nikita's coming back, I'll clear Nikita, but other than that, I might clear Tayo, because I can auto Tayo, but... Mikey, oh nice, it's 30 crystals per day again, thank you. So yeah, there you go, one person's happy. And then let's see what else, ooh, package removal schedule. 
Honorable hearers, we would like to inform you that some of our staff has elected to have their packages removed because they are no longer, oh, oh my bad, um, being sold in the shop will be discontinued. The unlisted packages for in total will be sold until the next update. Once the seceding update is live, the packages will no longer be available for purchase. For those who are still interested in the listed package, we highly recommend grabbing them before they are removed. So your rune selector pack, which that's a dumb pack, because even if you select a rune you want, there's no guarantee it's going to be good. Special package Rebecca is going away. Starter pack White Knight, starter pack Dark Knights. So there you go, guys. If you want any of those, <clears throat> uh, better hop on it before the patch. We are saddened to inform you guys of the discontinuation of the listed packages that have received much love from everyone. They don't fucking discontinue them. This isn't hard. <laughs> we will make sure to continue making better and more efficient packages in the future for your convenience. Oh my god, they're killing me on the buzzword meter. Thank you for understanding and for your support, heroes. <clears throat> so let's see all the buzzwords, customer service buzzwords. You guys ready? Inform, discontinued, seceding, no longer be available. Still interested, highly recommending. We are saddened to inform, discontinuation, listed, much love, more efficient in the future for your convenience. And then B Wink K Dink has a crying face here, so he's obviously really upset. I think I'll go ahead and tell him that he needs to, uh, no, just kidding. <laughs> Sign in through QQ. <laughs> Man, what was that, Weibo? Weibo? Google Plus, people still use that? Yeah. Alright guys, we got a sick nightgram here. It's kind of hinting towards something. See if you can figure it out. Night Chronicles, super duper pretty. Leona. Leona may be the least hot girl in this game. But anyways. <clears throat> Today I've been studying something for a long time. That's why you haven't seen my face for a while. But, no, whatever. I went to the laboratory of the Grand Duchy Sage Wiz. And I was greeted with a very excited Wiz saying a new invention was a success. Oh, how awesome is Wiz, you ask? You know Cynthia's magic doll that helps her express herself, Choppy? It is one of Wiz's inventions. I have heard more about his inventions. He has developed a special magic device to make his friends' adventures more convenient. He said that everyone will be able to benefit from this new magical device soon. I'm so excited, I wonder what it could be. And then we got some guesses down here, so let's see. But real quick, guys, I'll give you 10 seconds. What could it be? <laughs> I just noticed popular tags. Cheater. Cheater galore. <laughs> All right, let's go now. He said that everyone will be able to benefit from this new magical device, sir, and aka server merging. Server what? How will this work? A lot of skills from here and the other server are very different, but it would be fun to see PvP cashers rage quit when Lucy, which is not in global yet, mind you, kicks everyone but and is at the top. Shonen laying down that sick logic. <clears throat> at Shonen, we didn't know the further announcement yet. The announcement only said that they'll tell about what will be transferred to Global in early October, which is soon, which is now, actually. Anyways. And then Shonen apparently copied his same post. Fairy tale collab, give to us. Maybe something to skill up, hero up, without having dupey skill up mon or something like that. There's already a unit called Luna that acts as a skill up, but they won't release it yet because that means people would stop spending so much money for dupes. Darren Jenkinson. Zero Zeno. 
This poor our hero dude needs to help himself get buffed. <laughs> Instead of helping SSR Cynthia be beating his midget buns with zero effort. On whole, Tabios, dead game, P2W costume. So yeah, that's probably hinting towards the server merge, but for whatever reason, they're writing it like we're all kindergartners. You're like special ed or something. I don't know. No offense, special ed. All right, guys, and that is your amazing patch notes. Let's see if they put out a dev note. Wah, wah, last dev note, 828. It is now 10-2. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Greetings, honorable heroes. We would like you to know that we are destroying the game. Guild improvement, let's see. Boss battle changes. Improvement in display of admin heroes. Improvements in beta version of guild battle. Yeah, we know how that went. Costumes and badges. Yeah, this was kind of like simultaneously a good update because they did do lots of good like UI stuff. And like, you know, they made it so that world boss was one battle versus three. But at the same time, it was also one of the worst updates because we have finalized and fixed guild battle. Guild battle still sucks. And then costumes and badges were coming out. <laughs> the next update we're working on will probably happen in early September. <laughs> Trap. I don't remember. <laughs> Let's see how happy everyone was. Can't wait for costumes and the new heroes. Oh, it's like Great Films PH guy. He comments on my videos sometimes, or she. Oh, uh, looks like he got a flame war. You think lowly OKC players? That's just being rude. Just enjoy the game. <laughs> that was like some good drama. <laughs> Lord Camper. Yeah, whatever. That's a funny thread. So, anyways, guys, I'll leave a, I'll leave a link to the uh, to the patch notes, quote unquote. And I made a couple videos yesterday, and I heard a, someone left a comment. They said, "Well, another YouTuber. It's probably Scion Storm, but who knows?" They were saying that uh, they can't make the major update on time this month, so they have to do it next month. Because, like, I thought it was happening last week, and then, like, nope, nope, it's one more week, and whatever, so, wait, this week, it's an even worse update. So, uh, I mean, whatever, I guess, at some point, they'll release their stupid major update, and hopefully it'll fix two out of the three things, which... If you missed my last video, the three things I want addressed. Costume gate, the lack of events and other content in the game, like World 12, etc. And then also I would like to see, you know, not this generic stupid Nightgram thing, but an actual dev note or something on the server merge and tell us what's going to change what we can expect and around a point in time when they think it's going to happen. It's, this isn't like freaking brain surgery, so. But anyways, I made the promise yesterday, guys, so if they didn't address two of those three things, this game is getting de-emphasized from the channel. What does that mean? It means I will no longer be streaming this game unless they have a new dungeon or some new fucking content. A, new, <clears throat> a good new event or something. Um... 
I'm still gonna make videos for this game. I'll still make patch notes. I'll still make banner reviews. Uh, still, I'm thinking about going back and updating some of the old guides for the newer players. And you know, I'll still make stuff like that. But and then when new admins come out, I'll still make guides for the admins. And if there's a need somewhere or like a community thing that needs to be addressed, I'll make a video for that. But I'm not making tons and tons of videos for this game anymore because it's boring. It's stale at this point. Like. What, what am I going to talk about? Hey guys, let's go kill some gold mon. Like everything's been done. Unless you're a new player in this game and you still got challenges to meet. Everything's been done, so. So, and you know guys, I was talking about this with another streamer. This game may very well in three months be a better game than it was at its peak. Because they'll have finally addressed all this stuff. But the brand damage is done, man. The brand damage is done, so. It's a sad thing, but it's still a thing. And that's the dark of it. So. Anyways, guys, whatever you're doing, whatever you're playing now, let me know what you think about the patch notes. I'm actually going to get off here and go play Dragalia Lost on my phone, because it's much easier to play on my phone than on an emulator. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So, um, Showtime Doctor, Showtime DR, you found my, t my YouTube. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Uh, I'm also on Twitch, twitch.tv slash showtimedr. You can find me there. Stream most evenings and overnights. And then, or not most evenings, like three or four times out of the week. And then, uh, you know, there's a link to the Discord. You can come in, ask questions, get help, share your experiences, talk about your concerns, etc. So, otherwise, guys, I'll catch you later. Have a great day. Peace.